On the Sage 300 side, uh, we are going to be doing our 2023 release uh, in about a month's time. Uh, and in that release, uh, we'll also be including um, the, uh, the CRM 2020R2. Uh, so that will be part of our ISO image and everything. And we'll be also updating our integration pieces and adding a few things in there uh, in support of CRM. Uh, so a couple of these are basically some fixes that were reported uh, by customers. Um, so the first one is about where we ran into customer numbers that had special characters. So they could not be synced properly between 300 and CRM. So we've addressed that. The, the other area is with respect to uh, the AR aging. Uh, now we're going to basically going to be using the uh, same process um, in uh, 300. Uh, that way, so to get the consistent results between the two. Uh, we've also uh, expanded in our SIM our integration component uh, where we will now ex ex uh, support the 60 characters uh, for a CRM server name. And then the uh, other area is that we've added uh, pop-ups on the 300 side uh, so that when you're syncing with an AR contact, uh, you'll get a choice, you know, do you want to do an update to that or is it going to be basically like a, a new uh, person uh, in there? So those are some of the things that uh, we've been working on and uh, we've, you know, have this out uh, to the folks then, you know, in the coming months. So uh, stay tuned and, and watch for that.